Hi, Pastor Bibb here from Holy Cross Lutheran Church in St. Cloud, Minnesota with another daily devotion for you. Today our reading is from Matthew 20, verses 18 and 19. This is the third prediction that Jesus gives concerning his death and resurrection. We hear this. Jesus said, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. See, we don't often like to think about Jesus' death. In fact, a lot of Christians, they just kind of walk past Good Friday and they don't really think about uh, what Jesus had to do to win our salvation, but then they glory on Easter in the celebration of Christ's resurrection. Now, here's the thing. This is the third time Jesus has predicted his death and resurrection to his disciples. And, well, he even tells them, this is why we're going up to Jerusalem now. This is really the whole culmination of why Jesus came to us in the first place, to be our Savior from sin, death, and the devil, to take upon himself all the burden of our sins and transgressions and then go to the cross, suffering the full wrath of God over all sin, and he himself, Jesus, then is the once and for all time perfect sacrifice for sin, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Now, as we look at this brief text here, we see that Jesus is speaking to his disciples, and he says that he's going to be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes. Well, the religious authorities of Jesus' day, they didn't like him so much. He was taking influence and power from the from the leaders, from those religious leaders, and people were following him. Now, we see this oftentimes today. Preachers and teachers of God's word come preaching and teaching God's word and its truth and purity, and people don't like that. People have their own ideas of what they think and believe the kingdom of God is and what they want it to be, and, well, they're willing to fight to defend those ideas. Well, this is where we all need to repent Lord, please don't let me believe something false about you, your word, or your kingdom, but by your spirit, working through that same word, reveal to me the truth of who you really are and what really matters in your church. Jesus comes teaching this wonderful truth, which is really that which is contained in all of Scripture, that he, the Son of God, comes to take upon himself the burden of our sin, to die and rise so that he might triumph over sin, death, and the devil for you. And so then it is in this crucified and risen Savior that you have hope, that you have victory over sin, death, and the devil, that you have been reconciled, brought back to God the Father, and that you now have eternal hope. Because as surely as Christ is risen from the dead, so you too, dear Christian, shall rise and go to be with him forever in paradise, in the place he has prepared for you in his eternal kingdom. Thanks be to God for that. God's peace be with you as you go about the rest of your day. And remember this, that Christ was betrayed over into the hands of sinful men. He was flogged and crucified, and then he was raised up on the third day for you. Jesus did all of this for you. The proof of God's love for you is Christ on the cross, Christ risen from the dead, Christ ascended into heaven, Christ who will return for you on the last day. Thanks and praise be to God.